Oh my, Nathan, you brought the cold back from Michigan, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you know what, it's actually, it feels like summer here compared to Michigan. So we have two cars that actually compete against each other. What are you driving? 2013 Hyundai Elantra GT. And this is a 2013 Mazda 3. And how much is yours? About $23,000. Mine's just over twenty-five, dollars so it's pretty close. It's relatively close. So this is really more of a matchup. Yeah, than a mashup. But what we really care about is what, Nathan? <laughs> Which one's faster? Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Now, Nathan, we have reviewed both of these cars and we hate re-reviewing cars. So if you're interested in the review, go to tflcar.com. But I can tell you that under my hood, is 155 horsepower, 148 pound-feet of torque, four-cylinder, Skyactiv engine. What do you got? I have 148 horsepower, 131 pound-feet of torque, four-cylinder engine. Okay, I have a six-speed manual. I have a six-speed automatic. And the other day, by myself, I took this car to 60 in 10.83 seconds. Do you hear a rewind music? Okay, you guys are of course well aware that this is not, I repeat, not the Mazda Speed 3, so it does only have one tailpipe, but let's see how it sounds. 155 ponies coming right up, just for you. Yes, indeed. Was that enough zoom zoom? All right, guys, full disclosure. This car has snow tires, which means I'm having a hard time getting traction. So I'm gonna do my best. It redlines at six and a half thousand, at which point the engine just falls off a cliff because the computer stops it. So I'm gonna try to keep it below redline. Here we go. Oh, once again, I got a lot of tire slip. There's six and a half. Here comes second gear. A little bit more slippage. I can't quite make 60 in second. And here's 60 in third gear. Yep. Just as I suspected. 10.83. 10.83. Which is, uh, you know, it's okay for a car where I'm getting uh, 28.5 mpg real world testing. Now I have to admit that I had a hard time launching the car because it has snow tires. Oh, poor baby. Now, if you remember when we reviewed this car together. Yeah, we got a zero to 60 time with both of us driving in the car of 12.78. And that's because you had a big burrito for lunch. It was a double beef burrito with extra guacamole sauce. Now, do you hear rewind music? I hear rewind music. All right, Nathan, we are at a mile above sea level. Yep. Combined, we weigh 500 pounds. About. About 498, as we said in the last video. 496 now. I went to the bathroom before the video. Good, good. <laughs> so my question is, do you think it'll go zero to 60 in under 10 seconds? Woo, that's tough. Um, I bet you a dollar it won't. All right, you're on. All right, all right. I, I think I can get it at like just at 10 seconds. All right, no sport mode. Floor no. man. All right, well, just I'm go just going to goose it. Yeah. It's only letting me do 2100 RPM. All right. All the way down. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh, that was a pretty good launch. Kind of pull, let it yeah. run. Come on, girl. Oh, oh you're so pretty. 40. You're pretty. You want to go fast, don't oh, you? Go, here girl. Comes 50. Oh, it's not gonna happen. Here comes <laughs> 60. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Why don't you read the numbers, Nathan? Because you owe me. 12.78 <laughs> and 665 feet. Yeah, yeah, folks. You know what? It's Ford-ish. It, off the line, it actually had a nice little pull to it, but then it kind of fell off a cliff at about 40 miles per hour. Didn't want to go much faster. Damn, dude, it is cold. <sighs> Very cold. And that is good because when it's colder, it means what? It means you can get a little tiny bit more horsepower 
Yeah. 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 And so when we did that one, it was warm. It was very warm, actually. And yeah. now the challenge, my friend, all that for the challenge. Can you beat my time of 10.83 by yourself? Keep in mind, I have snow tires. You don't. It's colder. And you didn't have a burrito for lunch. No, I didn't. I had a bagel. So we should be able to get pretty close. Let's find out. <laughs> Nathan, that is by far the wimpiest exhaust I've heard on any automobile this year. Okay. You're gonna just, go down. No, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just, just eat my dust, all right? You'll see. All right. I'm gonna try it with the manual mode. I've got the steering. It's set on sport, which makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. Just firms up the steering. But I'm taking every advantage I can find. I've already relieved myself twice, so I want a faster zero to 60 time. All right, ready folks? Here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, it's not letting me shift. Are you kidding me? to see some tracks huh here we go guys come on baby I tried manual shifting mode it didn't really work it wouldn't let me go anywhere near the red line come on come on come on come on beat him please beat him some oh. I'm a little disappointed I thought I'd be able to come close to his time I mean I know I'm heavier than he is but well, oops, wait a minute. You're up. Everybody's going to Twelve point three nine. All right, Nathan. It says GT, but is it a GT, folks? I maintain it's a good car. It's a really good car, but it doesn't feel very sporty to me. All right, was it faster than ten point eight three, which is what the Zoom Zoom Mazda did? No. What was it? Was it faster than eleven? <laughs> Did you break 12? 12.39. Uh, 12.39. <laughs> 12 so it's an economy car and it's certainly not a sports car, but neither is this. And if you recall from our previous review, we both gave them a Lisa. Do you still agree with that? Yes, this is a Lisa car. So on the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it or forget it, both get leases. And don't forget, next week we're in sunny Detroit. <laughs> covering the Detroit Auto Show. Stick around for it, because we're going to have a lot of downloads. Wall-to-wall <laughs> -wall coverage. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. See you next time before the snow moves in. I've got snow tires. You don't, dude. Uh, bummer. Bye. Bye.